Welcome back. All right, so one could say maybe I saved the best for last. Amongst the NHL teams, the 32nd entry on this playlist is San Jose. Um, I didn't really intend for San Jose to be last. I just had them on the board, and I was like, well, I think I'll grab this one and this one. So it's just random kind of setup. San Jose, when they came into the league in the early 90s, their gear sold like crazy. This was a league that absolutely, I thought, needed something that San Jose provided. A little bit of color. Uh, some teal. And so uh, this is the only AHL jersey I have of theirs. Uh, San Jose Barracuda. I like this a lot. I think it's nice. Um, clearly, having their, their farm team in San Jose, a good move on their part. And the jerseys aren't too bad either. Kind of like the logo, kind of like the whole setup. Nicely done. Now, upon their entry into the NHL, they had fantastic jerseys. So when they keep going back to this as their anniversary jersey, can anybody really blame them? Uh, the, the teal especially flew off the shelves. The white one, not so bad in and of itself. So the original logo, I do like the current logo better. I think the original logo, um, I'm, I'm not as big a fan of the shark, but uh, the teal again worked, the fin on the shoulder worked, everything about this was really nicely done, and they sold like crazy. So in the NHL in the 90s, what do you do when your jerseys are selling really well? Right, you ruin it. So what they decided to do was to change up the striping, which was popular at the time, and you get into the plunging necklines here, and yeah, this really didn't work all that well. So whether you're you're looking at the uh, just the overall striping, which is a little bit different on the teal one, look at that black under there, uh, they're, they're different. I will say they're different, but when they went to this look, uh, I don't think this was as popular as the original look. This is not one that people looked at and said, hey, that's that's great. I'm really glad they made that change. There was a lot of what and why. I know between this and the Anaheim ones that have similar striping on the shoulders, I've had people ask me, did they actually wear that? Was that actually a jersey they wore? And I have to answer, yes, yes, they did. Now, adding in black jerseys came in around that era as well. So again, this is the original logo. For some reason, to me, it works on black. Now on camera, does it kind of wash out on the black? A little bit, black on a black background. But I, I do like them, I do. And I know for some, uh, that's been you know a step too far, bridge too far, they can't get there. Uh, this being a coho and all that, and again, the plunging neckline, because we weren't shy, weren't shy back then at all. Um, I'm kidding. But uh, the, the aeration underneath is actually kind of nice, to be honest. The, the venting underneath is, is, is kind of nice down the side here. Uh, so they were trying some different things. But black jerseys have been a staple, really, for the San Jose Sharks. So that look wouldn't last either. And they would change it over. And I actually like this look the best. So of all the looks they've had, I would still say likely the best, kind of, sort of, if you're looking at home and away. Although their new their new kits they were wearing this year, the new jersey set this year, fantastic. So this is your home and away. It took forever for me to get one of these in my size. Uh, I had an extra large for a while, which is great, but they, they don't fit me very well. This one's a small. Fits me much, much better. Uh, this one here is actually a large. So I was not able to find this one in my size. But you can see the size difference isn't, I mean, it's there with Reeboks. But anyways, uh, really nice design change for San Jose there. Uh, also, of course, they did a stadium. And I've talked about this stadium jersey before. Look at this. Just look at it. So I've had this since before I had the channel. This was my San Jose jersey for a long time when I was just, I wanted one of every team. Uh, this logo has, has been through it. And this is one that if I could replace it I probably would but I don't think I'd want to pay what I'd have to to replace it so uh, again this matches and I just did the LA one this matches the LA jersey from from that that game as well but this logo uh, it's it's one that just just has folds I don't know they they aren't made to last those ones definitely not made to last uh, let's see what else is Reebok in here so they would change their look and they take all the striping out. So they take the striping out and you end up with, with this, which there are Sharks fans who love this look, think this is this is the this is the best look they've had. 
Uh, I will say that the full shark on that shoulder and then the, the tooth bearing shark on that shoulder, those are fun. Those are absolutely great shoulder patches. I will make no complaints about those whatsoever, but what do I talk about a lot? Uh, the lack of stripes on the bottom. You'll notice the button on this one too, so that's your first year Adidas. And yeah, I, I always thought it was kind of boring. That's why I couldn't wait to put a 30th anniversary patch on that one, because I thought it, it needed a little something there. So we'll put that back, knock down a marker. All right, and then this is a Reebok, so we're going back in time, but it doesn't really matter because it's around that same era. The full-bodied shark, there are people who don't like it. I like it. I think this is a really nice one. Uh, always been a fan. This is a Reebok Authentic as well. I got this one through Full Moon jerseys. Uh, you have the SJ on the shoulder here. Uh, I do have goal magnets that size of that, that variety. Uh, I like, or not that size, of of this variety, but this would not be a gold magnet. This would be ridiculous for a gold magnet. That board would be gigantic and pointless. Uh, but yeah, so again, there's a lack of stripes down here, but for some reason I have a weak spot when it comes to the black jerseys uh, from the San Jose Sharks. So they did change over their look this year, but before we get to this year's changeover, let's talk about the stealth. So this is an Eric Carlson jersey. I got dirt cheap, and now I'd probably get it dirt cheap as well because he's been traded. Um, now, this one was criticized for having too much teal. Everything is teal. It's teal or it's black or it's white. I'm okay with that, um, including the shoulder patch up here. Uh, I thought it was nice. I thought the, the throwback to the old shoulder patch just was a nice touch on the shoulder there. And again, I think this logo is the best of the Sharks logos they've had. I, I really do. I think that's the best of their primary logos. So... This one here is also in a way before they changed over their style. And it's got the this, this shark here, but with the SJ as well. So coming back to this for a moment, that's the difference, is the shoulder patches. Other than that, they're exactly the same. The shoulder patches are different. It's an argument I've had with my wife for a long time. Uh, this jersey's different because, and she'll just kind of look at me and go, yeah, they're the same. But they're not. The shoulder patches are different, so they're the same, yeah, but they're not though. So anyways, uh, with that argument set aside and everything, let's talk about their current home and aways, which they just started up this past season. Absolutely phenomenal. It's got a little bit of everything really over their, their history with the new shark and the old design, the striping, um, kind of a throwback, but there's orange in the neckline as well on both the home and the away. And I think this is really nice. I hope they keep this for a long time. I also really like the updated version of the shark shoulder patches. So I think those are really well done. They're absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I have these. I think they're really, really nice. Uh, I was nervous when they came out that maybe I wouldn't get the white one, but I did. And it is fantastic. And then the reverse retros. So the reverse retros, the first one was a throwback to the uh, sleeves that people didn't like. Uh, they did this one in gray. So... Did it sell? Not very well. Uh, another one of the gray jerseys that didn't sell very well amongst the reverse retros, first out, right out of the gate. And so they're still available certain places online. Now, the second go around is the seals slash sharks. These ones are still, I've still been able to find these online. I don't think this one has sold very well. I think there were a lot of people in the media that were really a big fan of the idea of doing a throwback to the golden seals. I don't know that people picked it up. I think what also probably hurt it, San Jose wasn't very good this year, and it is a throwback to a SEALs team that was never any good. The The Oakland SEALs, the California Golden SEALs, whichever SEALs you want to talk about, they were just bad. It was a badly run franchise. And so, uh, yeah, I understand why these didn't sell all that well. And it threw some people off, too, that they, they may not have known that there was a lineage between the San Jose Sharks and the Golden SEALs. And again, that's why me having the Golden Seals with the North Stars and Dallas Stars throws some people off. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to leave it that way, even though this jersey would tell me really the Seals probably belongs with San Jose, but I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. So there you go. All done. Uh, watched the three and a half hour pay-per-view tonight and had to get these done afterwards. So it's done. Uh, all 32 teams. 
And all this left now is for me to talk about like European jerseys and other jerseys in the collection that I have. So for those who watched all 32, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a great summer. It's been a very enjoyable summer. Uh, there have been summers over the last five years where it doesn't feel like I had a summer, where it's like, oh, it's gone. Uh, I've been doing my best to make sure I really enjoy my summers the last couple years, and this was a great one. And doing the collection videos, I really enjoy doing jersey videos. I don't worry that the numbers don't really perform that well, because from for the rest of this year now, when somebody says, do you have this jersey, there will be a video you can point them to, I can point them to, anybody can point them to, to say, this is what I have of that team. So I do see them as, as videos that will garner attention throughout the year. And uh, so that's part of the reason why I enjoy doing these. But it's also fun looking through the collection and sharing it with all you fine people on the internet. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for accompanying me on this journey down uh, memory lane through all these jerseys I've acquired over the years. And I look forward to acquiring more and sharing those with you when I do. All right. Thank you guys so much for all your support as always. I will talk to you again soon.